everyone what's going on welcome back to Tony Cigar Corner where uh, I am here in Weejeonbu South Korea on a beautiful Sunday afternoon and uh, it's kind of a special review today since I have a one-off cigar that you're not going to find anywhere else in the market today now it's uh, from a new company this is their first release of uh, any cigar and that company is the Alpha Cigar Company out of Hong Kong now uh, the Alpha Cigar Company is uh, run by TJ and Justin who are two very very nice individuals and happen to uh, meet in kind of a destiny type of manner. You know, TJ was a Rocky Patel uh, distributor there in Hong Kong, and Justin was a wine and spirit distributor in Hong Kong. And by the grace of whatever, uh, they crossed paths and decided that, hey, sh shit, I'm coming out with our own cigar, and we're gonna make it awesome, and it's gonna be an absent infused cigar. So TJ took his experience in the cigar industry, and Justin his with the wine and spirit industry, and bam, this absent infused is what they came out with. Like I said, this is their first line, and um, they are going to be coming out with uh, more lines later on in the line and some non-infused ones. They have like four more cigars they're coming out with at uh, IPCPR this year. So uh, be looking for that. Now uh, this cigar is a, a beautiful triple cap, Cuban style triple, triple cap cigar. It's got an Ecuadorian uh, Connecticut shade wrapper and is filled with Dominican binders and fillers. Now if you can see, their logo is the Cerebus, the three-headed dog, the protector of the gates of hell. Well, that's not what uh, this company's all about. Instead, uh, the actual three-headed dog has a lot to do with their cigar. So, because it's an absent infused cigar, the three-headed dog represents the holy trinity, as they call it, in the absent world, which is their ingredients, the wormwood, the uh, uh, anise, and the fennel. And also, it is a testament, or a, inspired by, the triple cap that they use on their cigar. Every single one of the cigars is a triple cap, hence the three-headed dog. So. It's a little bit about the scar. Now this is their Corona size. This is the only size that they have right now. But like I said, they're going to be coming out with more of them here in the near future. Uh, and they are going to be releasing them at IPCPR this year. So uh, you can check them out at alphacigarcompany.com. So you can check out all their stuff there. Anyways, moving on to the cigar. Uh, the body of the cigar. There's a, uh, a slight sweetness on the body of the cigar. It has a very nice woody, earthy note. Just a slight creaminess. Especially on the foot, it, it is earthy but creamy, and um, it's a, a very nice, very nice aroma. The thing I like about this is that it is not an overly infused cigar. So, like if you see, um, you know, like the Drew Estate cigars, the, the tips are real sweet, the body just reeks of sweetness. And uh, when I talked to TJ, his his idea with the cigar was not to have this overly infused cigar. He didn't want one that was going to be like all you taste is sugar and all you tasted sweetness or whatever the case may be it wasn't like that he wanted you to get the overall experience of the actual tobaccos that are inside of the cigar so to me i think that's real cool i'm hoping that it is going to be i hope all of those the absent just kind of enhances the flavors and doesn't really overpower them because that would be kind of a drag so let's go ahead and uh get this guy cut up i'm using my v cut today Pre-light draw is beautiful. Oh, a little gust of wind coming in. But uh, I see there's some clouds rolling in also, so better hurry this up. But either way, uh, some very nice sweetness involved in the cigar. Um, a nice woodiness. Or some, mm, it's real, real oily. I can get all the oils on my lip. But the dry draw is rather earthy. There's a slight sweetness in there. Really, that's all about all there is on there. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and get this cigar lit up and smoked up and I'll be back in about five seconds with the first third and let you know what I'm experiencing. So I'll see you in just a little bit. Everyone, welcome back to the Cigar Corner where I am here in the end of the first third of this Alpha Cigar Company Absinthe Infused Cigar. Um, I got to say, I'm really enjoying this cigar so far. Uh, the burn is absolutely beautiful. Look at this. Razor sharp burn lines, densely packed grayish black ash. Uh, the draw is beautiful. Huge clouds of smoke coming out with every draw. Here you go. Very, oh, and I just lost my ash. So, I mean, that, that's almost all the way down to the halfway point. I'm a little bit further in than I would have liked, but I kind of lost track with um, uh, smoking it that I was even doing a review. Uh, but... 
Note wise, the cigar is also very pleasant. Um, it's real strong uh, like cooking spice notes on the front end. So it's, it's not like a pepper, it's not like a black pepper or a white pepper or even a red pepper. It's, uh, it's like a cooking spice, like a, like a basil. It's, 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 very, it's very pleasant on the palate. Uh, there's some nice cocoa notes that are on an undertone of that pepper or that spice. There's these undertones of cocoa, maybe even like a chocolate. Um, some very nice creaminess. Along with the big clouds of smoke, you get this real nice creaminess that washes over the palate. And it lasts very long into the finish. Um, there's also some nice wood that mixes in very nice with, those, with that, uh, the cooking spice. So nice wet, nice woodiness. The, the spice goes very well. And then it transitions into more of a, like I said, that cocoa and creaminess that's just really nice on the palate and goes on to the finish. So as at this point, I'm really enjoying it. Um, construction is beautiful. Flavors so far are very nice. Um, they're a little bit complex, especially on the light. The, the notes were very complex. They're, they're kind of like, oh, I, I really couldn't distinguish one from the other because it was just like a big plethora of notes just coming at my face all at once. So it, it was um, at first kind of uh, you know, a little bit too much for me, but it, it did, you know, now I'm starting to distinguish the flavors. It took me a little bit of time to de decipher what was going on in my palate, but I think I got it now. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and continue into the second third, and then you know, and I'll be back to just hear a little bit because I'm almost already done with the second third, anyways. To let you know what I'm experiencing, so I'll see you then. Uh, so, all right, one, welcome back. So I'm here at the uh, end of the second third, and there wasn't much for me to smoke before I finished second third, but here I am, regardless. And um, so far, nothing to report. I mean, uh, construction is still going beautifully, still beautifully stacked ash, beautiful burn lines. Flavors haven't changed much, you know, there's still that very strong um, those spice notes on the front end. Uh, some real nice woodiness, but those undertones of cocoa and creaminess. So the cigar has been very consistent. I said it just took me a little while to start to decipher what those notes were. Uh, once I got them deciphered and then kind of figured out where they were on the palate, I was able to uh, really zone in on them and, and really start to, to, to let them wash my palate and really start to get those notes. So um, I'm also here at the band point, so I want to go ahead and take the band out for you guys. Uh, no issues came out. They, they do have a, you know, it's not a self-adhesive band, but you no, know, no issues. It didn't tear the wrapper at all or do anything like that. The band is very nice. Like I said, it's got that Cerebus on there with the Alpha Cigar uh, logo. Very good looking band. It is a dual band. Where'd the other one go? I'd take the other one off a little bit while ago. I don't know where it went, but it uh, it just says Absinthe Infused on it. So very good looking band. Uh, like I said, um, so doing real well and I'm going to continue to smoke on until I get to my, my stopping point and I'll be back to let you know what I experienced up to that point and with my final thoughts and uh, going I'll on see one. so uh, here I am the last third and all the way down to the little baby nub nub so uh, flavor wise there has been a, a pretty significant change in the notes here in the last third I wasn't really expecting it, it had been consistent all the way up to this point so I figured it wasn't going to change any but here in the last third that the cocoa notes have really intensified on the palate uh, and it's longer on the finish. So um, I don't know if because the, the cigar started to pick up and, and warmth a little bit, so those notes really started coming to the forefront, or what it was, but either way, on the on the front end of the cigar, when you draw in, those cocoa notes hit you very, very strongly onto the palate, and you really taste them, you know, and they're just there, and they linger, and they're, they're long on the finish. Very enjoyable. You still have all the other notes, the the wood and, and those the spices, and, and that, Still, the cigar stayed very creamy all the way up to this point. So, very, very pleasant. Construction, all the way through, solid. Uh, beautiful burn, beautiful draw, beautiful ash. No issues there. So, um, all in all, very, very enjoyable. In regards to my final thoughts, I think that I really enjoyed this infused cigar. When I talked to TJ, he let me know that his, his intent with the cigar was not to be an overly infused cigar. Like you get with an acid from Drew Estates or even uh, from CAO. The cigars, their infusions are very, very strong on the sweet end, you know. So you touch to the lips, very sweet. They stay that, and it takes a long time for that sweetness to go away before you start getting the really nice tobacco notes. This one is not like that at all. Uh, you really get the, the nice tobacco notes from the start, you know, off, off the Ecuadorian Connecticut shade and those Dominican vines. You can really get those notes. It's very pleasant. Now, this is like my, this is actually the fourth one of these that I've had. And I've enjoyed all four of them. They've all been consistent all the way through. Um, and I think they did an excellent job with the absent. You know, the first two I smoked, I was, was really unfamiliar with absent. So I didn't know what I was looking for 
in regards to notes that, that, that should be in the cigar. So I went and got a bottle of absinthe, my own bottle, and went ahead and drank that mug. And eh, I might have gone too far, got a little tipsy with it, and I, I enjoyed it. But one thing I started learning about it, I started reading it, and then after I drank it, was that when you take the, the, the ingredients of absinthe, the wormwood, the anise, and the fennel, these are ingredients that you find naturally inside of, inside of not ingredients, but notes and flavors that you get inside of a cigar. So that wormwood, I think, really enhances the worm, or the worm, <laughs> hopefully not the worm, but the woody notes that you get inside the cigar naturally. And the anise, which is also a spice, helps increase those notes inside your cigar, which is why I believe that those spicy notes were very strong in the palate, but it wasn't like a pepper, it was more like a cooking spice. So I, th I think that they did an excellent job in their choice of infusion. And, and that comes, you know, as a testament to Justin's experience in the, the spirit and wine industry. So his experience, I'm sure, played a big part in what type of liqueur, liqueur and liquor they should be using in the actual infusion. So excellent job with uh, Alpha Cigar Company with, with their choice of infusion. And I really appreciate the fact that they didn't go overboard with the infusion. Uh, and it allowed for those beautiful notes from the leaf itself to be exposed in the cigar. So if you if you haven't tried these, which I'm sure a lot of you haven't, like I said, Alpha Cigar Company is a newer company, so you probably never heard of them. But check them out on alphascarcompany.com. You can buy a box of their smokes for about two fifty a box. Uh, I'm not sure if they do singles or five packs. I should probably ask and find out, but um, I'll let you guys know. I'm gonna put all their information down in the in the, in the description section, so you can check them out yourself. So um, once again, this was the Absent Infused from Alpha Cigar Company. Go out, check them out. I think you'll really like them can give me a thumbs up give me a comment give me a whatever subscribe to the channel for sure subscribe and uh, I'll catch you guys with the next review I'll see you all later